<laughs> you think they'd at least add some vodka to tap water these days, am I right? Hey guys, welcome to Week in Fishing. So I received two similar questions this week, both inquiring how to dress stylishly in small towns or emulate celebrity style in small towns without looking like a fish out of water. Now I ran into this exact same problem when I moved back from Philly, New York back to Arkansas. So I understand what you're saying, like 1,200% home frizzle. I don't know how to do math. We've already established this. Now all of you who live in big cities, if you have ever seen the People of Walmart blog, you know how people in small towns normally dress. Now not only is that normal here, but that is how the rest of us here are expected to dress. It is a miracle I do not own a pair of pink sweatpants with the words fabulous across the ass. P.S. Just because your ass says it doesn't make it true. If that were the case, the back of my pants should say pancake. <laughs> I don't have an ass. People here used to look at me weird for wearing a cardigan and a pair of skinny jeans, which I consider to be an extremely boring outfit. So put on your sarcastic hats because here's some sarcastic advice on how to dress like celebrities in a small town. So maybe your favorite celebrity likes wearing animal print here like Kanye and Emma. Now the small town solution almost always requires wearing sweatpants, so this is a pretty close emulation. Although if you do want to just give up completely, you can go ahead and opt for a leopard print Snuggie. Now here is Heidi Klum looking really cute in a little doggy sweater. Now you are gonna wanna go ahead and throw that idea completely out the window and break out the dog print sweatsuit from 1992. Just make sure that the dog on the top matches the dog on the bottom because you wouldn't want to embarrass yourself, right? <laughs> Hey. Now maybe you want to go a little bit edgy and you want to dress like Rihanna with some funky neons and some funky hair. Small town solution is obviously neon sweatpants, neon wife beaters, and a pink wig from the dollar store. Now maybe this is all a little bit too flashy for you and you just want to keep it simple like this polka dot dress from Kelly Osbourne. Well as you guys should be understanding by now, just get any sort of ugly sweatpants that vaguely resembles polka dots and fits you pretty unflatteringly and you are gold. And by the off chance that your celebrity inspiration is Courtney Love, you should just wear a trash bag. I have actually seen people wear trash bags. Now the best thing that you could do right now is to take all of the advice that I just gave you and completely throw it out the window. You should dress for yourself, you should wear what you want, you should wear how you want it and you should walk through town with your head held high because you might actually inspire someone else as well. Oh Joe, you're so emotional today. Cut it out. 90% of making an outfit work is confidence and the other 10% is making sure it's not sweatpants. I actually did not wear my favorite pair of awesome Jeffrey Campbell boots for about a year and a half when I moved back to Arkansas because just no one wears that kind of stuff here. And then about three months ago, I put these suckers on and I shot out my house riding on a rainbow and I roundhouse kicked everyone in the face who had a problem with it. Ooh, I almost kicked myself. Anyway, this week I want to know what motivates you to dress the way you do, whatever your style may be. And as usual, you can leave questions for future videos in the comment section or on my side at cupofjoshow.com. I will see you guys Monday. Oh, I love you so much, boots. I could kiss you, but I'll save that for when the camera's off. <laughs>